The Canadian novelist Robertson Davies was once asked where he gets his ideas for his books. His response was that you might as well ask a spider where it buys its thread, which I think is pretty funny. If you're a creative person, no matter what sort of inspiration gets you going, those ideas come up from inside you. Now for me as a landscape painter, that inspiration is all around me, and that makes things a bit easier. Uh, that can be a backyard, suburban view, or a half dome at uh, Yosemite National Park, you know, in, or anything in between. I think my own work is really sort of where your outer experience meets your inner landscape, and uh, that space in between is, is what I try to create, something that communicates a experience rather than simply a view. Hiking has always been a nice inspiration for me for painting. I'd spent 25 years in the semi-rural Rocky Highlands of northern New Jersey, right butting up against uh, Warwick, New York. My wife and I did a lot of hiking in the Hudson River Valley and, and across the Appalachian Trail that cuts through New Jersey around that point. And now that we're living in Rhode Island, um, so much of the hiking I'm doing is the you know softly, gently rolling hills of Rhode Island and the, the rocky beaches. You know, as a landscape artist, you know, I do a bit of sketching on site and, and uh, do a lot of photography as I stroll about. The real work happens when it come, I come back to the studio. I don't do finished work on site. I, I do all the work in my studio itself. And so often for me, it has to do with transforming those initial impressions and images that I get from sketching and, and taking pictures. Before I you know, hit the final paper. My challenge is to keep that energy and that excitement and that focus from the initial sketches uh, evident in the final work. You want to hold on to that, you know, at the risk of making mistakes and spilling things. And you want to keep that excitement and that sense of adventure going on with the, uh, with the work itself. One of the things that really helps to keep me focused on work that's important to me is the uh, concept of self-culturalization. It's not something that we talk about a lot uh, in the States, but it seems quite common in, in uh, Chinese culture that, uh, you know, you study practice of painting, calligraphy, perhaps poetry, initially because there's a, a real love and interest and passion there and it gives you joy. And then you find like-minded friends to share that with. It's not uh, the immediate next step to monetization. It's uh, about sharing something that, <laughs> that means something to you.